Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Dr. Siles coming to you with a video review. It's been a long time. I've been extremely busy. I've gotten a lot of things that I've been meaning to do reviews on, but just haven't had the time to do it. I figured what better way to start getting back into reviews and to review the, um, what is this, the Figure Art Zero uh, Piccolo version. Um, I just got, I got this in the mail like, a few, like two weeks ago. I just haven't had the time to review it. As you can see, the box is huge. Uh, box art in the back just explaining pretty much um, uh, you know pretty much the figure nothing too crazy has some cool writing in Japanese the figure arts logo and uh, this is gonna be a review slash unboxing because I actually haven't unboxed this video this thing yet um, you know I got, it's pretty cool it's like, you guys know I collect the figure art art zero line and um, um, this is what number four four or five so and they're gonna and the ones that are coming up soon are gonna be great man because they got um goku do the spare bomb and times three which looks like a pretty cool figure a little expensive but let's get to the unboxing all right as like you guys can see this is the first time i haven't even had time to open this bad boy uh, the box art is superb uh, i really enjoy the box art um, it's basic, nothing crazy. It's just cool. The box is massive. When I got this in the mail, I didn't think it was going to be this big, but it's huge. Okay. If it's, if it's out of focus, I apologize. I'll put it right back. Nothing inside the box, just green. Here's Piccolo. Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. I, I guess this, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Uh, interchangeable hands, or one hand. For him to be doing the special beam cannon. I think it's huge. Let's see about the open. Pretty early in the morning, it seems to be I'm not trying to wake up. people in my house so. okay like I said guys uh, this is the first time me opening this so it might take a while me to get this out you guys know whoever collects this this comes pretty well Way too much noise. <laughs> anyhow, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I can make this brighter for you guys. Well, uh, you guys can see. Figure is pretty cool. The statue is not really his figure. Pretty cool. I'll bring it up closer to detail. Piccolo looking angry as hell. Piccolo is actually one of my favorite characters in Dragon Ball Z. Pretty cool figure. Uh, pretty cool. See the detail there. See, is this removable? No, the cape isn't removable, but it's okay. He looks cool with the cape on. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You know, the back, the front. Pretty cool. I, I like it. Let's see. It's pretty cool. I enjoy it. It keeps going in and out of brightness is because I'm trying to get a, the right level. So that's pretty cool. You know, unlike the other figures of this, he can't stand on his own though. So he's gonna need the base it comes with, which isn't a big deal. That's the reason they bring the base. So let's take a look at the base. Base, nothing crazy. Smoke, um, you know, what you normally expect from these type of bases. Pretty cool. I really need to get like a legit camera. All this footage I usually get for my YouTube channel is usually off of my phone. Because this is more of a hobby, more than my actual gig. I do this more for fun. That's why I really haven't invested into a, 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 like a legit camera. But it is what it is. Okay. So pretty cool so far. You know, like, you know, it's really, really cool.
Um, here's the hand that it comes with. I'm going to display him with this. Just because, you know, this is cool. Let me see if I can get the focus. Sorry about the lighting. See, this is pretty cool. Okay, so, I guess it, like, sand comes off. Pretty easy. Not too bad. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Looks more like he's pointing angrily than he is doing a beam cannon, but it's still pretty cool though. Yeah, it actually does look like he's pointing like, you get over here. That's pretty cool. But you know what? This figure is like legit. I mean, I love the Vegeta figure. I think in my opinion, that's the best one. This one comes really close. Just because, I mean, look at that detail. His face. Look at that detail on his face. This is... Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And the, you can see the fibers and everything. Like, they really, they really went all out with this. And the, the shadowing. It's really, a really cool figure, man. Like, Bandai with Dragon Ball Z Watch has a lot of stuff coming up, which is great. I, I picked up Brawly as well. I'm going to do a, re, a mini review on this one because... Unless I get a double of the Brawly, I'm not going to open them. It's just my thing. I mean, I would love to open them. One, I don't have the space to display him. And two, it's just, you know, I like keeping my my figures in, um, uh, in the package. The, the statues I don't mind because the statues are meant to be displayed. So, whatever. But the figures, I like keeping them in the package. Um, you know, so, yeah. Um... So, um, yeah, I mean, nothing, I mean, this is pretty much it. Um, nothing else I could talk about. Like I said, pretty cool figure. Um, should you pick it up? Yeah, why not? I mean, good, the good thing about the uh, figure art zero, uh, statues is that they're not overpriced. So there's still a lot. The first ones to come out was Goku and that one's still at a reasonable price. It's not like the action figure, the figure arts action figures. Like, if you don't pick them up when they first come out, let me tell you, this, the price skyrockets. Like Brawly, uh, well, well, I'll talk about it more on the on the on the video. But I've already seen it on, seen it on eBay for like a hundred bucks, and it's available. But anyway, okay, guys, this is it. Um, um hope you enjoyed this video. Um. Uh, happy holidays to to everybody. Merry Christmas to whoever else it applies to. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments, leave a uh, message below and I'll get to you. All right, this is Dr. Siles coming to you with a Piccolo unboxing slash review. I'll see you next time. Bye.